City TV. We interrupt this program for some breaking news. A very good afternoon. Welcome to a special coverage of the demonstration that has been organized by members of Arise Ghana Group, and they have been raising concerns over the deteriorating state of the economy. They've raised concerns um, about the fuel hikes over the period, amongst other things. We'll be going live to the demonstration grounds where we understand that um, there's a standoff between members of um, the group and also the police there. We will be establishing contact with a man on the ground, Anatufo Boateng, who is currently at the Obras Sport, where we understand that the protesters have already converged to begin the uh, demonstration. If we have Nana Tufo on the line, uh, Tufo, I'm grateful for joining us. And if, if you can hear me, please help us. What is happening currently? Well, good afternoon, Kweku. And uh, the situation uh, here is currently starting to contain the crowd. Uh, from what has happened so far, demonstrators have been pelting that the police and the police in turn uh, have responded with water cannons and of course the firing of tear gas into the crowd and pepper spray actually now um, the protesters really had wanted uh, to use the Nima route due to uh, Aqua J entertain but according to the police this is not the agreed route and so initially what we saw was a human barricade uh, formed by the police to prevent or uh, the protesters uh, to deny them access to the Lima route uh, just around the NS chemist, uh, the overhead to here out a circle. Uh, to give you a better picture, if you're descending from the circle interchange, uh, you see uh, an overhead uh, just before his the first African storage bureau and also just before NS chemist and then to the show bank. If you're hearing a loud bang in the background, that is the police uh, firing um, tear gas uh, as well as pepper spray. Now, the situation is that when it is fired, it, it, is, it, it travels with the wind, and so it spreads across. So really, people who actually are not part of the protesters are also suffering this. It really bends it gets your nose running, your eyes tearing, and really a very uncomfortable situation to deal with. So really, police uh, do their best uh, to contain the situation by not allowing protesters access uh, through the Nima Road uh, coming down from the Circle Interchange all the way up to Akwaje. Now, they are being stopped right underneath the overhead. And uh, it looks like... Uh, Gradually, the police is uh, making or uh, pushing or forcing the protesters back. That is the situation here. If you come here, you see stones uh, in the middle of the road, stones pelted by these protesters at the police officers, and police in turn uh, returning or re responding uh, with pepper spray. So in the middle of the road, there are stones everywhere. Uh, police still has the human barricade. Uh, you see STU Sanchez, FCU machines here, police um, heavily armed, firing tear gas. And that is what you hear in the background. That loud bang is the sound of tear gas being fired uh, into the protestant crowd. However, um, when you look up the overhead, you see some persons not really clad in the traditional red and black that the protesters are clad in. But these persons visibly are still counting stones at the police. And it's really a dangerous situation. You would have to be far off uh, to be able to stay safe because um, these are small stones here, Pelton. Police team advancing right behind their heavy machine. But yes, uh, protesters also not giving up and firing stones. Uh, you see some police activity along the sidelines of the road. And clearly you can tell uh, the moves are being made to pick up persons who are pelting stones at the police.
So, Nana Tufo, can you confirm to us whether or not anyone has been hurt following the firing of the tear gas and also the pelting of stones? Can you confirm if anyone has um, sustained any injuries following the action by both factions well, in this that, particular that situation? That will be difficult to tell, but uh, we've seen a number of people, of course, running for water because um, they, they, they have suffered um, this tear gas or pepper spray. Uh, but it is difficult now to tell if anyone has sustained any injury or not. But clearly, tear gas has been fired uh, in a bid uh, to contain the protesters, to stop them from accessing the Nima Road. Uh, and then, of course, we've seen even some journalists who were caught in the crossfire uh, running for water to wash their eyes, their faces, and, of course, to allow them to breathe uh, since uh, the sickness of uh, or, or the intensity of the uh, tear gas and the protest spray was quite high, for which reason uh, they have had to seek some first aid uh, by buying water from vendors or running into shops and asking for water. But as it stands now, it is really difficult uh, to tell uh, if any casualties have been recorded. Mm. So, Tufor, I would also want us to talk about the route that was agreed on uh, between both factions. What is the, the organizers telling you with regard to the route that was agreed on before the protest was um, started? Well, per the court decision yesterday, uh, protesters were to use the Farm and Coma Circle through Farisco, through TUC, to the Independent Square. Uh, it is not clear why today the uh, decision to use the Nima Road uh, through Akwaje to the Jubilee House. Remember, although, that uh, this has always been uh, the request or the plan of the organizers of this protest to pick it at the Jubilee House uh, till well after uh, dark. They had wanted to stay at the Jubilee House till about 8 p.m., uh, which decision, of course, landed them in court where the police sought to bar them from protesting into the night. A court decision was made by the High Court uh, for protesters to begin their demonstration between the hours of 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. Protests, per the court instruction, was to end at 4 p.m. Uh, but organizers of the demonstration insist uh, that they have also uh, sought a stay of execution at the appeals court. Something we do not know for certain if has been granted and of course if police have been served a thing. But organizers of the protest insist on carrying out uh, their initial or original plan. And that is the reason why they had intended uh, to use the Nima Road through Akwaje. Um, National Communications Officer of the NDC earlier addressed the gathering after a meeting uh, with the police and they insisted that they will be using the Nima Akwaje road, but will not be going to the Jubilee House anymore, but rather will be going uh, to the ministry's area uh, where they would stay till 8 p.m. As it stands, police insist on not allowing the protesters use the Nima road to Akwaje. And so there's a bit of a standoff between the protesters who are pelting stones at the police, and of course the police who are returning uh, fire with tear gas and water cannon. So, to for um, in our shots, we've been seeing people who are washing their faces. That is um, following the firing of the tear gas and also the pepper spray uh, by the police. Um, would you be able to tell us where some of the organisers are? Have they also been affected by this particular action by the police? Where are they now? Well, it's difficult to tell because um, initially the crowd led by the organizers were on the upward track, that's the NS chemist side. But then when the confusion started and tear gas uh, was being fired, the stones were being pelted. We saw uh, some of the organizers, particularly Bernard Mona uh, uh, and uh, Pablo, um, who happens to be the national youth organizer of the NDC. We also saw the general secretary of the NDC just of uh, the road that is the, uh, around the side close to the border. So, Tufo, um, I would want you to just uh, break for a while. We are seeing um, 
some videos of people running for their lives. Can, what can you tell us? What is happening well, this, as of this, now? This, this is because the police team is advancing. Uh, initially, the police had to retreat because the crowd or the protesters were tossing stones at them. But now this is the police advancing uh, towards the protesters and clearly uh, persons will want to take cover or will want to run to save themselves from possible arrest or from suffering the tear gas that is being fired. So this is police advancing uh, on the protesters to make sure that indeed they do not have access to this Lima road and of course, uh, uh, of course, stick to the rules as agreed upon or decided by the court. So Tufo, we know that the ring road stretch is a very busy road and when we talk about the Kwame Nkoma circle, a lot of vehicles use this particular stretch. Uh, what can you tell us with regard to traffic? Would you say that um, the situation is affecting traffic and also businesses in that enclave? Can you tell us? Clearly, clearly affecting traffic because on the main road, vehicles that were coming or knowing what was happening ahead have been stopped and uh, turned back. The police have turned them back. I am not sure exactly which route they are going to ask them to use but no one is currently accessing the circle interchange on the ring road stretch because uh, it is in the middle, right at the overhead, where the overhead is, that the action is taking place. And so police have stopped all vehicles from accessing this particular stretch. Uh, those coming from the GDC area or the Societe General area have been asked to turn back. Uh, so we are not sure which route they are going to take, but clearly they've been asked to turn back. Police are uh, currently uh, advancing on them. Now, for businesses in the area, it is difficult to operate as that yet because, one, you wouldn't have any customers at all because of the ongoing situation. And then for your own safety, it will make sense for you to close shop, either lock yourself indoors or to stay out. Okay, so in, from where I stand, I see two persons who have been picked up by the police. Two persons who have been picked up. Uh, well, they are being taken towards where uh, the police had set base or had set come. And so two persons picked up currently in my shots from where I stand, two persons have been picked up. And uh, of course, police have caught them into or well, possibly into one of your vehicles to be for almost transferred to either of stations after uh, the police decision. So Tufo, I am sure these people you were telling us that um, they have been arrested by the police. I'm sure it's because of the agitation that is being um, seen from their side, the pelting of stones and um, other actions from the protesters. Now, I would want us to talk about the protest in general. So we were told that it was supposed to start at 8 and close at 4. As we speak now, they are still at their brass spot where they were supposed to converge. Why the delay? Well, Koku, uh, that was a decision by the court for the protest to start at 8 and end at 4. But for the organizers, that was never their intent. Because um, we just listened to an address by the National Communications Officer of the NDC, Sami Jensen, who mentioned that indeed they had came to plan. And uh, the plan was that the demonstration was to start at 3 p.m and travel late into uh, the night that is at about 8 p.m but for they being law-abiding citizens they would nevertheless start at 3 p.m but would want to use the nima route to aqua no longer going to the jubilee house but this time to the ministry area to register their displeasure so for the organizers they are not late their original plan uh, was or is to start the demonstration at 3 p.m. So, to for um, early on, we saw in our shots some police officers retreating. They were leaving the bus they were in and they were heading towards a direction. Where were they heading towards? And I'm sure they were running for their safety. Well, it's, it's, a, it's a game of cat and mouse now because you want to take cover, but then at the same time, as an officer on duty, you would want to apprehend uh, some of the perpetrators, especially those who are pelting stones at them. So we saw uh, a police team stealthily advancing the overhead 
uh, where some of the stones were being thrown from. And then, of course, we saw others also who would want to go around and pick up some of the pieces unknowingly. And so, really, it's a scene to see. Earlier, we saw them retreat because it wasn't anticipated that uh, these protesters would be throwing stones at them. But when that started, they had to retreat, regroup, and then make an advancement on the protesters. So, Tufo, has the police also called for reinforcement, or are these officers the, um, the batch that came early in the morning to be a part of the demonstration, to um, provide safety for the protesters? Or we've seen some sort of reinforcement following the pelting of the stones by these um, protesters. Well, clearly the number of officers here has increased since, uh, or from the number that we saw in the morning. But uh, it is not as though uh, we've seen uh, the type of uh, call for reinforcement that we typically see. But clearly, the number here has increased, especially uh, the officers on motorbikes. We've seen a lot of them because uh, you can anticipate or you can imagine that uh, these bikers will be needed uh, to go after mm -hmm. some of these so persons uh, who are pelting stones at the police. If the police the really uh, are looking or is looking to make some arrests. Because the protesters are still agitating, they are still on the streets and we're yet to even have them go through the routes that had already been designated for them. I can see currently that they've all been pushed towards the GCB area and I'm sure they are now gathering themselves together and I'm sure some engagements will also be, um, be done between the organizers and then the police. W what are they saying? Well, Kweku, um, the organizers will now have to engage the protesters. Now, if, if, let me take you back and uh, give you a picture of what may have led to the scenes we are seeing now. Um, a meeting was scheduled between the organizers and the police. Uh, we are not certain what the agenda of that meeting was, but clearly uh, one can suggest that it was to fashion out a final route for the demonstration. Since earlier in the day when we came, uh, there was an attempt by a group of protesters to advance towards the Nima end of the ring road, but they were stopped by human barricade formed by the police. We saw persons uh, like the National Communications Officer of the NDC, uh, we saw Bernard Mona, um, we saw Joshua Akamba of the NDC, uh, even Kotobi Kwate was here and part of that meeting. Um, if I am right, the most senior police officer I saw uh, making his way into that meeting would be COP Yohunu, Christian uh, Tete Yohunu, who was part of that meeting. Um, not to divert, but then the reinforcement you talked of earlier has just arrived. Uh, we've seen about uh, four police vehicles make their way here. So that is the reinforcement you talked about earlier. But then to continue with the story, while that meeting was ongoing, we saw the protesters clearly agitated, uh, perhaps because of the delay and the uncertainty of what the outcome of that meeting might be. And so they were actually trying to force their way into that meeting. It took um, the security, for want of a better description, the security of the organizers of the demonstration to stop them from advancing into that particular area. Um, they had to be cut short because of the disturbance that was going on outside. And so the agitated uh, protesters may have started all this that has resulted in the police responding or, or returning uh, fire well with the tear gas and the pepper spray. Because even when uh, the leadership uh, was still addressing us, we saw a number of them come up onto where the Kwame Nkrumah statue is, where we were being addressed uh, by leadership and demanding that enough of the talk, they want to hit the street. So, Tufo, I would want you to stay on whilst I run by our viewers what is currently happening. So the Komayashi demonstration, which we understand was supposed to start by 8 a.m. as was ruled 
over by the court yesterday has not fully started and we understand that there's been a standoff between the police and the protesters so currently as we speak at the primary coma circle um, the protesters have been pelting stones at the police over the designated routes that they want to use to i mean drum home, drum home their demands and so currently we have a man stationed on um, the grounds, Nana to Fob Wateng. Um, I would want us to now talk about um, the trading activities. Early on, we talked about um, traffic situation which have been affected or impeded uh, following the standoff. Are traders, have they been forced to even close their shops as we speak now, or people are still trading? Well, Koku, what it says is that a shop that is not closed will have its attendants or its staff move out of the shop onto the street to also catch a glimpse of what is happening. But, uh, I mean, it, it will be difficult to operate at such a time. And so, mostly businesses along this stretch are not operating. Even your typical pockets that you will see around this time are not here. Uh, and so, it, it tells you that uh, really the situation has affected businesses here within uh, the, the, the circle interchange area. We see uh, some officers advancing on foot now. Uh, clearly from the idea, they appear to be riot control police officers and they are advancing on foot now uh, towards the uh, interchange, uh, towards uh, where the roundabout itself is underneath the interchange using the goal filling station area. And so officers on foot now uh, hitting against their shield to signal their arrival, their presence, and of course, forcing protesters to push back. So, to for currently in our shows, we're seeing the General Secretary for the NDC, Johnson Estadio Nketiah, and also um, Bernard Mona and some other people um, walking towards the police. What is happening? Are they going to have some engagements with the police? And what really is happening there? You, you would expect leadership, of course, to engage. Uh, the police on the way forward uh, since uh, initial attempts uh, really did not yield the desired results. But then, of course, uh, it, it is yet to be seen or to be known what decisions uh, will be taken by both the police and the leadership of the organizer of the demonstration. Mm. Um, I'm sure you've been engaging some of the organizers early on. Are they satisfied with the number of people who came out to embark on this demonstration? Looking at the numbers there, what have they been saying? Are they encouraged? Well, from the organizers, they, they still expecting more protesters to join. Some, they say, are traveling from far uh, to join the, the demonstration. Uh, because according to them, uh, this demonstration is not just a one-day event. Is a 48-hour demonstration. They are looking to do this in two days, and so they are still expecting uh, more people uh, to come and join uh, the demonstration. Hmm. And we know that the, these organizers have been raising concerns over the continuous surge in fuel prices. Also, they they have termed it as um, the deteriorating state of the economy. What else have they been saying for which reason they have masked up to even embark on this protest? Well, the organizers have outlined a number of triggers that are vocating uh, this particular demonstration, top of the list, uh, of, or generally has to do with economic challenges. But then they break it down, and the top of that breakdown list is uh, increasing uh, fuel prices, and of course, its attendance challenges or its rippling effects on all other sectors of the economy. They complain about uh, food price hikes, they complain about lack of employment, uh, they complain about increasing corruption, and then of course, uh, they cite the, the alleged the luxurious travel by the president as also one of the triggers for which uh, they have assembled to demonstrate and to register their displeasure. Tuvo, are you able to tell us notable names you've, 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 you've been able to spot so far? Well, National Chairman of the NDC, Samuel Okuzion, is here. Joshua Akamba 
uh, of the NDC also here. General Secretary of the NDC, Johnson Asiedun Kedja, is here. Early on, we spoke with a member of parliament for Ningo from, from Samuel Nate George. Um, one of the lead organizers, Bernard Mona, is also here. We see some notable faces. Uh, Sadiq Abdullah, Street Music, also here. Um, a, a number of uh, notable persons, but of course, uh, per all the scuffle really makes it difficult to identify all of them. Uh, there's also the women's organizer of the PNC uh, who earlier on addressed uh, the gathering. So a number of notable persons here, but of course all scattered uh, due to the scuffle that ensued earlier. So, Tufo, with regard to the demonstration, it, it's been tagged as Koma Yeshe. Uh, people who have come and are part of the demonstration also echoing the same concerns. Clearly, the sentiment that resonates through, uh, because all persons who are here have been chanting either lack of employment, either increasing fuel price, uh, prices, uh, or price hikes. Um, Generally, the same concern shared by all protesters here in Gaza. And so uh, they all agree on uh, the principles or the triggers uh, for which they have come out to demonstrate, to demand for a better economy, uh, improved living standards, and of course, a reduction in the crisis of fuel. Morning. Yeah, currently, are you getting any sense of indication that the protest will continue or is going to be halted? Are you getting any indication? Are you picking up anything from the organizers um, of the well, protest? Well, the organizers insist on carrying out their demonstration, but as to whether they will have their way, uh, considering the fact that the police also remain at post here uh, to assure law and order, it is yet to be seen. As I mentioned earlier, uh, reinforcement has been called in. We've seen a uh, police team advancing on foot. And so uh, well, we're monitoring to see exactly what the instructions are. But according to the organizers who indeed uh, gave out matching orders uh, to uh, their, their protesters, is that they should remain steadfast, they should remain strong because they are committed and dedicated to the cause. They are willing to demonstrate and nothing can stop them. So, Tufo, I would want you to stay on. So, currently, we're, 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 stand, we're seeing um, some of the protesters, they're more or less like still waiting on the organizers to tell them what to do next and um, whether or not the demonstration will be continued or not we're yet to find out but then this is the Komayashi demonstration which is being organized by Arise Ghana group they have been um, given a plethora of reasons for the demonstration which includes the likes of um, hikes in fuel prices also transport fares um, the continuous surge in food prices among other issues they say that they are on the streets to drum home their demand and also their concerns to government and as we know currently the protesters are stationed at the obra sport where uh, we understand they were supposed to converge and move through the principal streets of accra to be able to go about their protests, but um, as we speak to you, they are yet to even go through the routes. Um, yeah, Tufo, I would want to come back to you. Now, I, I can see a lot of the protesters now moving towards the police area um, where the fire service or the ambulance is being stationed. What's happening? Are they now rethinking of going about the protest? Well, of course, due to the firing of tear gas, I am now actually making my way <laughs> there because I also had to run for cover, of course. But um, clearly, it looks like protesters are regrouping, re-strategizing, and then they will be issuing out uh, different marching orders uh, to the protesting group. The police also clearly would have re-strategized or, or, or reprogrammed 
uh, whatever uh, strategy they had coming here due to what has transpired so far. And so as you see an assembly of protesters, uh, it should give you an idea that really they would want to re-strategize and then, of course, uh, fashion out a, a, a new plan for the demonstration. Mm. So I would want us to talk about safety. So you had to leave the scene to be able to, I mean, protect yourself from what has been happening, what is happening currently. Would you be able to tell us whether or not some journalists were also affected by the firing of the tear gas and also the pelting of the stones? Have they even left the scene? Are they safe as we speak? I did mention earlier that some journalists suffered uh, the tear gas because we were all caught in the crossfire. Really, no one would announce to you before the fire tear gas. And so we were all caught in the crossfire. It was actually Hansen Ajuman who had to get me water to wash off mine. But a number of journalists uh, were also caught in the crossfire and of course had to endure or suffer uh, the tear gas and the, 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 the pepper spray. But of course, police has been able to stop the protesters now. They've actually, police have actually advanced, uh, of course, to uh, the, the, the station, uh, the mm -hmm. new war station around the overhead. And so really, it, it looks like uh, some progress has been made on the part of police uh, with respect to stopping the protesters uh, from using the Nima road. We are making our way down uh, the overhead once again uh, so we can really get into the process and uh, find out exactly uh, what will be happening amongst them. So Tufo, whilst you do that, I'll also be informing our listeners and our viewers of what has been transpiring so far. So there was a standoff between the protesters and the police um, following the route that was agreed on uh, for them to embark on their protest today. The scheduled time was to start at 8 a.m. and to close by 4 p.m. That was um, a ruling by the court yesterday. However, that hasn't been the situation. Although the protesters, we understand, guarded quite early to be able to embark on the protest, that has not happened. So as we speak to you currently, there are people who are stationed at the Obra spot. They are speaking or listening to the organizers after the standoff was um, reported. We understand that the police had to fire tear gas, of which some people were affected by the action, but then no casualty has been um, currently recorded. It means that everyone is safe as we speak to you, but then we will be getting to the organizers just to find out if this particular situation uh, will deter them from embarking on their demonstration, which we understand is going to be n not just today, but it's supposed to continue um, for tomorrow too. Their whole reason for this particular demonstration is to drum home um, their demands for, for government to work on the situations that they have already tabled um, out. And this includes the continuous fuel prices, which uh, has seen an astronomical increase over the period. Also, they have raised concerns about food prices or inching higher each and every day and other um, reasons that they have, they have outlined. But then, um, so this demonstration was supposed to help drum home their um, concerns to the government, particularly to the president, where um, we understand they're yet to actually embark on the demonstration. So as you can see in your show now, some of the leaders we can see um, are approaching their members, those who have come to be a part of the protest today. And so as you can see, the, um, as you can see currently, Totobi Kwachi is in your shot. He is moving with some other people to the protesters. And this tells you that they will be engaging them um, to inform them of the next line of action. Now the protesters who are clad in red and black to signal their, their, their grief um, with regard to um, the continuous um, 
deteriorating state of the economy as has been put by the organizers. And so as you can see, um, the people are massing up again, some holding placards with several inscriptions. And this is to tell government that uh, there are certain concerns that they have and they want them to be addressed. Earlier on, our reporter, Nana Tufo Boateng, who is stationed at the Obra Sport, indicated that two people, two persons have been picked up as we speak. We are yet to find out what reasons um, has led to the arrest, but I'm, I am sure it, it may have followed the, um, the pelting of the stones and also the vandalism that has been recorded. So in a short early on, we saw uh, a police bus that was... Uh, being hit by a stone and so clearly it tells you that some sort of uh, vandalism is happening there and we understand also that traffic has all also been impeded so currently vehicles who are moving um, or using that particular area uh, would have to slow down have to find other alternative routes to be able to go about their duties also um, traders have also been affected by the ongoing stampede uh, which, which was recorded early on. So businesses have had to stall for a little time because of the situation that is um, happening at the Kwame Nkrumah Circle. And this follows the demonstration that has been tagged by the, the, the organizers as Kum Ayeshe Demo. And this is to tell um, viewers and listeners that um, the, the economy, as they put, um, is deteriorating and needs attention now from government. So th that has been the situation currently at the Kwame Nkrumah Circle. And so if you're watching and you're listening, this is a special coverage of the Kumayashi demonstration that is b being um, embarked on by the protesters. Let's now speak to my colleague, um, Umaru Sanda, uh, who is currently using the Ring Road stretch. Um, Sanda, if you can hear me, we're, we're grateful for joining us. What can you tell us with, with, with regard to traffic? Has it been affected by the ongoing um, situation at the Kwame Koma Circle from where you are using? Indeed. Uh, thank you, Kweku. So I am actually um, at the part of the Kwame Koma Circle. Uh, so we'll try and reach office. out to our uh, colleague, so, uh, towards, um, so if you're coming from BBC and uh, you're headed towards the family so much interesting, uh, this is what you need. You will be met with a very dry, uh, uh, unoccupied by no vehicles, save the few police vehicles that have been stationed here uh, to prevent vehicles from moving. There's a team of policemen and women that has been stationed along the road preventing vehicles now you do know that this ring road is a very busy one so if you're moving from ring road east which is um you're coming from uh, labadi or two you're headed towards um western accra kanishi Odoka, and those areas you'd have to drive over the van Kuma interchange also known as dubai unfortunately because of this uh, stampede and standoff the vehicles have been prevented so this lane the major lane that would, uh, was supposed to have um, been the one to be used by vehicles. It's now deserted, so vehicles are having to stand in front of the Sophie general area. A lot of vehicles in the past uh, few minutes have been doing U-turns, uh, climbing the curb, and then doing a U-turn and headed back towards DC and Labadi. Uh, a lot of them have done so. The few that are still insisting on going to the have been diverted by the police. So they are having to go through the busy internet route, the DRA route, and then they will navigate just before reaching the Sun in Kuma Circle, uh, turning right uh, away uh, from the Sun in Kuma Circle. It means they will end up going through uh, the Kuma crossing the road, uh, and then going through the North Industrial Area before reconnecting around Abu Dhabi. So the Kwame Kuma Circle is now a no-go area. In fact, even people who are normal pedestrians walking, if you look far, you see a policeman instructing people to move. And you see another policeman here instructing this motor rider and other people that are supposed to take their reason to pass here. Uh, there's a bullion vehicle uh, excessively carrying cash. Uh, it's also being right here by the police. They will not let it go through. At least I do not know if you're receiving this particular vehicle special dispensation uh, because no vehicle is being allowed the police about to fire the road. And yet, uh, as you are seeing in your shot, this bullion is banned carrying cash. You have to do a U-turn 
because it is for the safety of the vehicle owners who intend to drive over the uh, overpass. Now, people will tell things to uh, Manatubo has already reported to you. If you are going through the top, uh, you may end up being a victim of the uh, missiles that are being thrown. So this uh, vehicle has done a U-turn. Other vehicles that do not come through the main road are having to uh, divert and go this way. Now, if you look on top of what we used to call, what we call the area of the Dubai, you see a trailer, a trailer parked way on the middle of the road, uh, which is a trailer park that was returning uh, or maybe coming from Chandeshi or Osloko, uh, headed towards um, Labadi. That vehicle has been stopped in the track. Police personnel have taken over that route. In this, even the Bokumene uh, um, intersection itself has not been spared. So, this is what is happening at this time. Now, if I pause with you, and if I do pause, let me just say that I'm going to be officers on both of my also uh, in the state of affairs here, um, directing traffic here. Now, if I pause from this side and go to the lane, which is the oncoming lane on Keko. This is what I'm met with. Police vehicles have been parked, and there's something that looks like a reinforcement of police arriving at the scene. There are several police vehicles that have been parked. This road as well, very deserted, and uh, they are forming a barrier. Indeed, there's a huge police attack, uh, aside with uh, more vehicles that they're using. They form a barrier on this road, which is the uh, paradise road, as you before. Uh, if you were coming from Keiko and wanted to do a sharp ride, this would have been the one you would be using. That is correct. This mm. police team that has arrived, the people itself is being sent away. I do not, under, I do not know why, uh, but it's been you know, a little perhaps passing the position for the exercise. And uh, far beyond on the bridge, uh, you will see more police. Sana, so we would have to um, hold our, our interaction here and then get inside. back to Nana to Fobuateng, who, um, where we understand that the organizers are speaking to their protesters. So let's take a listen. <laughs> Well, clearly, uh, leaders of uh, demonstrators have been addressing the gathering here. Um, that went by uh, what the uh, National Communications Officer of the NDC, Samir Genki, um, exploring the protesters that really uh, it wouldn't happen that they will use the rules being proposed uh, by the police. They insist on using their own originally plated rules. And that is going to uh, Nima, through to Ajay, uh, Akwaje, and uh, through to the ministry areas. But the police also still remain at the overhead, uh, just underneath the interchange, uh, where they've mounted a human barrier, where you would find some FPU machines, where you would find uh, some policemen on foot, right control officers on foot, insisting that it wouldn't happen. Uh, that uh, the, the protesters will be allowed to use the Lima route. And so that's what's happening here. We've seen leadership of the demonstration currently uh, addressing uh, the gathering, giving them some assurances uh, as to whether or not they will use the route of, of the police or not. As you see in that van there, the van there where the, 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 the gathering is being addressed. You see Bernard Mona there, of course, in his beret, as usual. Um, you see Bacham for now on the microphone, singing um, to whip up some enthusiasm around uh, among the gathering. And really, that is what is happening. So right now, what it is is that the demonstration or the group has to move to the roundabout that is underneath the circle interchange. And this, this is where they are assembled. Now, turn to the left and you see smoke billowing. And uh, earlier we saw some tires being arranged by protesters. It seems as though those tires have been set ablaze. And so the smoke is going into the sky. Uh, this is to perhaps also 
more or less block the police from advancing on them. And so the smoke goes up in the air now. As you can see in the background, tires are set up place by protesters here uh, as a way of blocking or stopping the police uh, from advancing on them. But uh, what, uh, what, what is troubling, however, uh, is that it looks as though leadership are here on the runabout addressing the gathering, but some of the protesters appear to be doing their own thing, uh, looking to engage the police. And that is how come they set those tires uh, ablaze. And the police, of course, do have their water cannon on standby, and so uh, they should be able to put out the fire set to the tires. Uh, so basically, the demonstration act was scheduled uh, to hit the street. That did not happen, uh, but what has happened so far is that a meeting has been held between the police and organizers of the uh, Tomayeshi demonstration. Uh, that meeting, of course, was nearly included upon uh, by the agitated protesters who insisted that really the delay uh, was what was then something they were comfortable with. Raza, leadership came out of the meeting, addressed the gathering, and assured them that uh, no machinations were put about the request, and that they were definitely going to use the Lima through Akweje, through to the ministry road. And, uh, well, this resulted in the crowd advancing on the police who had mounted a human barricade to stop them and then, of course, stones were pelted, and then tear gas fired, water cannons also fired, pepper spray fired to disperse the crowd. But still, though, a huge number of them remain here gathered, uh, willing to register their displeasure with current economic hardship. So, Tufo, you indicated that the organizers are not relenting on their efforts. Uh, or using the routes that they have outlined, which is clearly contrary to what the police is saying. Did they explain or tell you further how they are going to embark on this uh, demonstration using their routes? If you can come again, I missed that. So I, I would want you to hold on um, now as I go on and speak with my colleague Hansen Ajiman, who is also um, stationed around that area. We understand that he is quite closer to the police. Hansen, if you can hear me, um, you are very close to the police. W what is happening now? We are seeing um, smoke emanating from tires that have been bent there. W what is happening? So currently, um, the uh, protesters um, are still pelting stones at the police officers. Uh, the police are seen some form of the They are putting all their hearts to get up to that they stop the uh, protesters from what from using a route they are doing as and down it's just on the ground some of the stones uh, that have been held at the police that was the front of the building of that any casualty or any that there is what you can see those police officers line now that uh, what we are expecting from the police is that we are going to see this number acquired to be able to So, Hazen, um, I would want you to hold on for us. Um, let me get back to Nana Tufobwating, where we understand that the organizers are addressing, um, is addressing 
um, the media as of now. So let's go then and listen. Um, so we'll try and get through to Nana Tufobuateng, where we understand that the national chairman of the NDC, of Ampofo, is addressing um, the protesters there. We would want to hear from him what he's saying if uh, this particular protest will be embarked on or they will be stalling it as of now. But um, we, we can see um, him addressing the press, um, I mean the people there now, the protesters who are all listening attentively. Tax ever to you. I 
have a COVID sicker by no woman to chama or moho. Ama and na or nipa bakopas original hose. No, or no coin a hundred thousand Ghana cities. I yet to one billion or nipa bakope. Namibia and the one never be a mawasia or bano chrono. And I am a say for the first time in the history of this country. National service for Yen Tiamoka. And now, one more number, I say four months in the national service, Yen Tiamoka. And so, I feel if you are Siano, Patro Buono, and now sorry, I know Pa, who could be sat in Yama Bua, who said who could be a confessor, Kaba, who are very Nanya Manabo Nide, Nasa San, or Maya Yatimono, and Pany Fosa. So who can who be? None in none too. I can see us in the sun. Now just a yari a day. A worm. I know it. Now you're sorry, sir. Enough is enough. Chobe. I know now some is here. Christophobi. Now we say a minya platform beer. I saw my men can't run, sir. Oh my, no more yadi. I feel the woman who do amo yano. Wamu sorry na msa wamu kwa atimata forest Akobo mpaya Forest na wamu kwa mpaya no zono Aku fado soa yade Or town forest no No wamu chwa mwani nyinati Akiso fwa kwa nyade E nyaba bi nyade E mwa mpaya Chobai Chobai E ti ni ayaye no Ya tu nte sukoko Adi achano na aku fado ni Dr. Baumia I am an economic messiah. Now, God, the Obama, you know, Obama, the chief dollar, no, not the name of IGP. Now, IGP had not got to, I got to sell, and that dollar, no, I think can say. Now, the person we catch up on is say, we are actually a Wagana, no, and yet Korea, and yet my friend is say Russia, any Ukraine, for to what, and I'm an ambassador. On my other side, we are sharing now. We in Nigeria, our inflation is sixteen point seven now. All the neighboring countries are trying to watch you know inflation is a single digit. Eti bisa hose sa aye Russia for ane Ukraine for anta kwa ada na yenu ano ma wanya nchi ano wamu de omu ni sa oha unibi ya ne president mama eko paga last week sa ufri na vrongo eko paga. Our filling stations, be brave. We had them. Now, the entire our filling stations, no doors for us. Ghana petrol, no boy for saying, but he never so. And you, what about the filling station? No one. But he never so for no bad at all. No money on for so. We need to see here. Here, come come through. Pagano. Now, filling stations, we have no. After the amount of time, I'm on our filling station. Oh, a bit more here, a new one. Our filling station, we have no. That is where our country has come up to. I don't see an NDC. You can't say you best support to arise Ghana for demonstration. No, you do much. Yeah, no, you change no one that. It is a good cause, and we want to support it day, night, twenty-four hours. And to let them be prepared to persevere and resist the oppressor's rule. So you are perceiving a change. Change does not come easy. Many and way. Me see change in another. It doesn't come easy. I know it is. I know you better not have to see what's on the path. No, you know the 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 necessary change. Me know what that you know. Our names will be written in gold because when it comes for people to be counted for no, to be stood up and counted for no, you and I were part of it. We will stand by you shoulder to shoulder. We will stand by you shoulder to shoulder to ensure that this country is rescued because. Omaya, they are sending for being sad, and never be able to mind the corner. They are rescue Omaya. This country ought to be rescued. There is a sense of urgency because the direction the country is going is very dangerous and precarious. They have lost track of the management of the economy. They have put the country economy on autopilot. Fuel prices and prices are going on um, unrestrained. And we cannot allow this to go on. And so we say enough is enough. This is the beginning. A journey of a thousand kilometers begins with a step. And the first step is today. And we are ready to go the long haul to 
ensure that we rescue this Ghana. Revo, revo, revolution has a long way to go, but has come to stay. Revo, revo, revolution has a long way to go, but has come to stay. Can't So we saw there an address by the national chairman for the NDC, Samuel Ofusu Ampofo, who has been addressing, um, addressing the protesters there. He's been given a plethora of reasons for uh, embarking on this particular protest. But I want to go to Hansen Ajiman, who is currently with some details there. Hansen, if you can hear me, uh, we're grateful for joining us. What can you tell us? What's happening um, at where you are stationed now? Mm -hmm. Well, so currently, what uh, is happening is that the protesters um, occasionally go and bend their thighs and basically sit um, move. And what happens next is that uh, this blesses uh, the visibility of anybody on the other side of the road, including the police. What then we see next is the protesters going on at the police office. So, what we can say is that this and delivery strategy by the police, by the protesters. So what they do is that they send the ties, they create a system of the extent that they blend the resistance of any particular stand to them, and then they then go at the start. The police are choosing on what we expect to see, uh, tear gas, as part of the to express protesters, the protesters, are also abusing uh, with the tool and the trick look that is being to do. As you can see from the visuals that they are showing you, uh, the size and then the six notes is there. Very soon, we are expecting some stones from the infected assets, police officers, um, in retaliation or in defending. The police officers also tend to uh, fire the gas towards the uh, police officers are in some to um so you can see a group of police officers down there. And you can see in the black also uh, I can't see what exactly the people out for but um in situations like this my thinking is that these are other of things that they will use uh, to buy off uh, protesters and tell what is happening. Uh, is moving, and what we anticipate to happen is that they will attempt to cling to the fire and set by the thing that was done. Uh, a few minutes ago, and the uh, police, uh, the the protesters, so this is what yes, six more That is an attempt by the police to use the to. Um, the, 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 the fire. Uh, there seems to be some protesters in front of the vehicle uh, are trying to prevent the water coming uh, from uh, from from sinking uh, the fire that is on the front there. Uh,
some boy, somebody mm-hmm. in another police or I'm dead, but fire up their gun. So Hansen Ajiman is a man on the ground at the Obra Sport where we understand that um, some tyres have been burnt by the protesters and this is to agitate the orders that is coming in from the police with regard to the route to use for the uh, demonstration. And also we understand that following the pelting of stones by the protesters, um, some police officers have been injured in the process. We will be running by you. How many of them have been injured in the process and also what's really happening there. So um, this is a tweet from the Ghana Police Service which says that attack on police in the ongoing Arise Ghana demonstration. What a shame. We were there to protect you and ensure your safety but you throw stones at us. Inj- injure uh, injure us and hurt us. This behavior is unacceptable and must be condemned. And so this is a tweet coming in from the Ghana Police Service um, identifying or outlining what has happened so far. They have indicated in this particular tweet that um, some of their men have been injured in the process and they were there to um, work with, with the protesters. So you can see a picture of one of um, the injured police officers um, and I'm sure this is because of the pelting of the stones as has been indicated already by the Ghana Police Service in their tweet. This is also another gentleman who is uh, being taken into the vehicle, the Ghana Police Service's vehicle, and this is because of the situation that has happened there. So it tells you that the pelting of the stones um, affected the police um, and also the police we, we have seen already have also been been working um, with the police and um, with the protesters uh, but i will still give you more updates and as i speak to you we are hearing some gunshots there at the obra sport uh, hansen if you can hear me who is shooting
So we're hearing some gunshots um, there at your brass spot. We are unable to tell who is shooting at this moment, um, but they will be bringing you up to speed with regard to that situation there. Uh, but then in your shot early on, you also saw the firing or, or the, the pelting of stones by the protesters um, to agitate what the police is telling them. And we understand that some of the police officers have been injured. Uh, we brought you some pictures from the Ghana Police Services tweet um, early on. And this is to tell you that the situation is turning chaotic as we speak to you now. But they will be reaching out to our men on the ground. Nana Tufo Boateng um, has been brief enough, uh, briefing us on what is happening. Also, um, Hansen Ajiman has also been helping us, um, bringing us up to speed with regard to the situation on the ground. And Umaru Sanda early on talked about the traffic situation um, on the stretch following the standoff between the protesters and the police. Um, we're yet to find out whether or not the demonstration will continue. Um, per the ruling by the court yesterday, the protest is expected to end at 4 p.m. But as we speak to you, the protest is yet to even commence because the the organizers have been indicating that they are not um, okay with the routes that have been outlined by the Ghana Police Service. The police, on the other hand, is also saying that they have their designated um, routes for the protesters to use, and so they are not going to allow them to use any contrary routes. Um, we will be following and bringing you up to speed with regard to the situation there. Remember that this is the Komayashi demonstration, which has been organized by Arise Ghana a group, who have been um, labeling or outlining some of the reasons for their protest um, today. Early on, we also saw um, the NDC's national chairman uh, uh, their resolve. They say, they say that they will continue with their demonstration, and this is to drum home their demands for government to take a look at the, what they describe as the deteriorating state of the economy. They have made mention of the fuel price um, increments in recent times, also um, the hikes in um, food staff, among other reasons for uh, for which reason that they are on the streets as we speak to you. We're still monitoring proceedings there and we'll be bringing you up to speed with regard to the situation happening um, there. We also brought to you some excerpts of um, some of the people who have been injured that is on the police side. We're yet to confirm whether or not um, the protesters have also um, had some sort of injuries recorded following the stampede uh, between the police and then the protesters. The police in their tweet indicated that they were there to ensure peace and also to help with the safety of the protesters. And they are actually surprised um, with regard to the situation that is being recorded there. Let's now go and speak to Nana Tufo Boateng, who has been yeah, monitoring. Um, so Tufo, if you can hear me, early on when we spoke to you, the national chairman for the NDC was addressing the protesters what is he saying again and what are the organizers also saying are they going about their their, 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 their protest or not what can you tell us nana to for boating well uh, national chairman of the ndc samuel Okusu Ampopo, uh, has just finished addressing uh, the gathering uh, assuring them of the insistence of uh, the of first of all of course explaining to them why the national democratic congress ndc uh, decided uh, to join or to support uh, the organizers that is uh, arise ghana uh, in organizing or in going ahead with this Kumayeshi demonstration and then of course he's got to instill in them uh, some confidence uh, of course only from the fact of the commitment of the leadership of the demonstrators to go ahead and uh, protest what they can touches. However, a uh, bone of contention here is the route uh, to use for this demonstration. And he insists, as national chairman of the NDC, uh, whose party supports the Komaeshi demonstration, he insists that really uh, they are desirous or still insistent on using the Nima through Akwaje interchange through to the ministry area road, despite the police. Uh, resisting uh, such moves. I have come close to where the police have pitched camp or
and as you can see uh reinforcement has been called in and so clearly the number of police officers here has increased uh you can see them strapped uh armed to the teeth riot police uh with their shields of course and their buttons uh prepared uh, uh, of course to forestall or, or, or to prevent any unforeseen circumstances within the remit of the law, of course, uh, there's still smoke billowing towards where we are because some ties were set ablaze by the protesters, of course, to stop the police from advancing towards them. So now we see armed officers uh, advancing uh, towards where the protesters are. Uh, the police FPU vehicles, one that carries the water cannons and the other one uh, that carries um, the tear gas, or making in a move uh, towards the protesters currently standing behind the police who are advancing slowly uh, towards uh, where the protesters are stationed and uh, if you know this area this is actually um, the circle interchange where the overhead is next to where, where you have uh, the wholesale division of NS Kermis Limited Prudential Bank uh, going all the way up um, towards a uh, bus stop Societe General that stretch going through to GBC and to the Aquaje interchange. The smoke is still billowing thick. Um, I'm not sure if some fuel or something has been added to it but now it appears it's billowing really thick um, but police are still insistent uh, on stopping um, the, the protesters from uh, continuing with their protest or from using the Nima route uh, towards the Akwaje interchange. Who was shooting? And I'm sure if the police were shooting, it's expected to scare these protesters who are now pelting stones and also abandoned ties. If you can confirm to us uh, if truly there were some gunshots there. Well, all these loud bangs you've been have you've been hearing so far are just tear gas being fired. So far, I have not seen any police officer fire a gun into uh, the protesters. So far, it's been tear gas and water cannons that have been used uh, to disperse the crowd. But when you come here, it is visible the type of weapons or all kinds of offensive weapons that have been pelted at the police from stones to bottles to sticks. Uh, they're all lying here. And so clearly, uh, police had cause to react or to respond. Uh, and of, co of course, to protect uh, themselves. All, all, all kinds of offensive weapons are lying here. If you get here from bottles uh, to sticks to stones uh, to blocks, all, 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 all types. We've seen a police bus that has been destroyed. It's had all the louvers uh, uh, blown out because it suffered shots uh, that were pelted or fired by the protesting crowd. So we, read a, we, we actually read a tweet by the Ghana Police Service which uh, indicated that some of its men have been um, injured in the process. We, we, we're thinking that they may have been sent to um, the hospital now. Have you seen any of the injured policemen and um, w what is happening with regard to their safety also? Well, I, I cannot confirm that because I have not seen any injured policeman myself. Uh, but of course, uh, it is highly possible uh, due to uh, if you were here and you witnessed the kind of uh, stones or weapons that, that, that were pelted or thrown at the police, it, it is very possible that some may have been injured. But I cannot confirm that since I did not see that uh, personally uh, but what, what is police now police now are advancing uh, towards the protesters uh, they have been able to douse the fire uh, men are being called in and so uh, we've seen uh, some reloading being done with respect to ammunition uh, police loading more more tear gas into the FPU tracks that are stationed here and so it's obvious that clearly an order has been given and men are being called in uh, 
to advance towards the protesters. From the address that was given by the national chairman for the NDC, did he indicate that they will be continuing with the protests or did any of the organizers uh, tell their protesters to still wait so that they back on the administration? Well, Koku, that, that's what um, has been going on so far because um, organizers have not really uh, announced a different route, but so far they insist on staying here at a circle. Mm. They insist on staying here at Circle. Now, in your shot, you can see uh, some people running uh, because um, police are asking them to move out of the vicinity to make it clear and obvious who, of course, engages in some sort of illegal activity so the person can be picked up. Yes, that's one person that has been picked up, ca currently being escorted out of the area. Um, we see police advancing towards... Um, the roundabout where protesters are currently gathered um it remains to be known or to be seen what the plan is but uh, we see or we also see police chasing after some people um allegedly uh to have uh, uh, pelted stones at the police more tear gas being fired water being sprayed on the protesting crowd all in a bid to disperse them you hear that loud bang you see smoke tear gas being fired into uh, the dispersed the, the, the crowd now they are running more of them uh, running for safety running for cover for fear of their dear lives um, we have to see whether the leaders who insist on staying uh, who insist on um, continuing with the protest we have to see whether they will stay or they would also run as the protesters depart the area so you early on indicated that um, some two persons have been arrested by the police uh, following the incident that has happened just before you you ended your your submission we saw two other persons being arrested by the police um, would you be able to put a figure to how many people have been arrested so far from what you have seen? Kweku, so if you can see in your shots, more people are being arrested. So it will be difficult to put a figure to it uh, as we speak. We will have to wait for the situation to die down so we can pick official communication from the police. But as it stands, arrests are being made. I can count on top of my fingers six persons that have been picked up uh, so far. Now, these people who are being arrested now, do, do you think or are you picking up that they were part of the protesters? I'm asking this because they are not in the red and black outfit where we all know that mostly when people go out to demonstrate, they would want to be in the red and black outfits. These people are in multicolored attires. Are you picking up that they are also part of the protesters or these are people who may have also just joined well, the protesters? It will be difficult to tell because, no, 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 it will be difficult to tell because um, we don't know what kind of intel the police is using and based on which they are picking up people. But clearly, uh, they know what they have seen and they know what uh, uh, allegation or, or what suspicion or probable cause on which they are acting and so they keep picking up people yes we see another gentleman that has been also been picked up his arms wide open suggesting that he's innocent of whatever it is he's being accused of but the police know what they are doing i mean at the end of the day all persons who have been picked up will be screened and then of course if you are innocent of whatever it is you are being charged of uh you hopefully you should be let go so we're currently seeing some of the police officers advancing towards the protesters. I'm sure they are moving forward to be able to calm these protesters. Um, numbering over 20, I'm sure even over 30. And we're seeing some of the police vehicles also moving We see forward. police running towards a gentleman and he's also been picked up, Kweku. Uh, yes, okay. So I, I see a red band that has been picked up suggesting that 
uh, he only dropped his band when he saw the police advancing towards him. I mean, a, a, a lot of people will be picked up from the type of operation that is currently ongoing. Uh, it remains, uh, well, we will know exactly who is guilty or otherwise only at the end of the day when uh, the situation is calm and, of course, a proper screening is done. Because uh, clearly, uh, the police, despite uh, all levels of professionalism, have been attacked. And so they would also want to act based on the attack and, of course, take action against the protesters. Protesters also, of course, agitated and uh, willing to go the extra mile to register their displeasure. So we'll still be monitoring what will be happening there at the public minister but whether or not this protest will continue as uh, has been planned by the organizers but then i would just w want to w reach out to you to for you are now on the interchange um traffic um, has been impeded what is happening where are they using mm -hmm. now well clearly there's a lot of traffic uh due to the ongoing scaffold between the protesters and the police uh, here on the interchange it's, it's not really stagnant it's a uh, go slow uh, but on the other ends are, at the runabout is a stalemate no car is moving none coming in none coming out at the runabout and of course uh, vehicles that would have wanted to use ring road through to circle can no longer do that uh, because uh, the, the interchange really it's where the action is happening and so they have been diverted we have not been able to go all the way up uh, to find out which routes they've been asked to use um, but uh, 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 clearly traffic has been impeded uh, lots of it building on the tiptoe lane stretch coming uh, to, to the interchange and of course on the other side as well mm. so to for um I'm sure that um, some of these protesters will more or less be thinking of either embarking on this particular journey that it, they had want to start today, uh, whether or not this particular situation will stop them from going about um, the protest. I'm sure from a lean point of view, everyone would want to opt out now because you wouldn't want to uh, lose your life in the process but then if it's possible and you can even get to some of these protesters just to find out if they are still going to embark on it um, or they're going to disembark on this particular protest that will be um, very much appreciated but currently as you can see people are still washing their faces the, this um, is actually a shot that was taking some few minutes back when the tear gas was fired and uh, it clearly tells you that people who uh, were protesting have also been affected by the tear gas that was fired by the Ghana police service and this is on the back of a demonstration um, that has been tagged as the Kumayeshi demonstration by a rise Ghana group where we were expecting them to walk through the principal streets of um, Accra now let's go to Hansen now Hansen what, what, what is happening at your end now we can hear live gunshots What's happening? So the police uh, currently now has been able to push the protesters further back, are effecting some arrest.
this is a police um, barricade or a uh, sound barricade that has. But from our short uh, far, it's like protesters are removed, right? And uh, that is the uh, some of the protesters are trying to play. But the police are here. Uh, So Hansen Anjeman um, is a man on the ground. Hansen, um, um, if you can position yourself better, we will be grateful because we are losing out um, on your audio. And so we'll now go to Nana Tufo Boateng, who is all, uh, also on another side of the stretch. Um, he will give us up to speed with regard to what is happening. There. Nana, if, if you can hear me, what's happening? Well, I've, moved to the, so I've moved to the top here of the interchange. This is uh, perhaps the highest point of the Kwame Nkrumah uh, interchange. And as you can see, your short, this is traffic moving uh, from uh, Capri all the way through to Kitole, uh, heading towards Adabraka. And this is traffic that you can see. Earlier, I mentioned to you that the protesters, together with their leadership, had gathered at the roundabout but now police have dispersed them and so as you can see the roundabout you know the interchange is now free and you can see uh dots or pocket spots of red and black these are protesters uh, who have been dispersed i am unable to currently tell where the leadership is uh, the organizers i'm unable to currently tell where they are uh, the protesting crowd and uh, they have uh, of course moved uh, and, and, and they are no longer in an assembly they are no longer gathered at a particular spot uh, police still of course advancing on them uh, to make sure that they free the area and of course allow for some free flow of vehicular traffic so I'm sure that this is to say that very soon the traffic that was impeded early on will be free. It will help for drivers who want to use the route to go about their normal duties. But I am currently seeing um, some of the police officers advancing uh, towards the, the protesters in batches. Uh, I'm sure this is to disperse them as you early on indicated. 
And you've also told us that the, the organizers are nowhere to be found now. And well, tell not, not necessarily nowhere to be found, but because I am on the internet, I am unable to tell exactly where they are. Uh, I do not have them in my sight. And so I cannot tell if really, uh, as they had insisted on doing earlier, they would stay and match up the police. But uh, from where I stand now, on the top tier of the Van Kuma uh, interchange, I do not see any of the organizers of the Kuma Ente demonstration. Would you be able to tell us that traffic is now easing up following um, what the police has done, that is to disperse these protesters? From where you stand, is it easy enough for um, drivers to be able to move? Right. So prior to protesters being dispersed, uh, the runabout was not in use at all because they had massed up on the runabout. And so clearly it wouldn't make sense to even drive towards the runabout. But now that police has been able to clear them from the runabout, um, I see a number of vehicles uh, using the runabout now. Also, uh, the interchange, uh, you can see some level of fluidity on the interchange and now as the police continue to push the protesters back uh, to make way for vehicles to flow. We, we, we'll still keep in touch with you, Nana Tufo Boateng, because um, from what we're seeing now, it means that the protesters have been dispersed and we, we have to find out whether or not they will converge again to embark on their demonstration as um, has been indicated early on by the uh, um, organizers. Um, but then we'll still be keeping tabs with you. And well, well, but, but what's happening is that the police is actually uh, moving on them. Now they are heading towards the new plant area. Mm. And so you can tell that there's no giving up on the part of the police. Mm. I mean, having pursued protesters all the way uh, from the interchange, from the runabout, and now you can see them. They've gone past the Odona, the GPRTU main Odona station here. Now advancing towards the new plant station uh, should be hitting uh, the VIP bus terminal uh, in a matter of a minute. And so clearly, uh, it tells you there's no giving up. Police would want to ensure that indeed no protester remains uh, to continue uh, with the protest. But however, far off, I can see some of the protesters also not giving up. I'm counting uh, what, uh, from where I stand, uh, appears to be rubber chairs at the police vehicle that is advancing on them. And so uh, it looks like it's going to be a full day out here. So this is just to suggest that um, the protesters are not giving up on um, their concerns as has been indicated by the organizers already. We're still seeing the police advancing towards the protesters um, on that particular stretch which leads to the New Plan station area and we're seeing the debris also on that particular exactly. stretch. So that, that, that's uh, more or less the leftover or what's left the confrontation there. Uh, so at a particular spot, you see protesters cup where whatever uh, they can consider as a weapon and fly towards the direction of the police. Uh, so once the police or the team moves past uh, these points, you see uh, the rubbish or the waste that has been created as a result of this move. So um, as you can see, w this is w what is happening currently at the Kwame Koma Circle. The police is trying to disperse the protesters who are still bent on um, drumming home their demands that is uh, what the organizers have indicated already that the deteriorating state of the economy now would want to go to Hansen Ajiman who is on the other side of the um, stretch uh, to find out what is happening at his end Hansen if you can hear me what can you tell us now So we'll still try and reach Hansen Ajima. Hansen, if you can hear me, I'm asking what is happening at your end now. Coming. 
So right now, we can go find some agent. And now, the place has been started as part of any threat of the farm and so much. And to both, however, the police are trying as much as possible so that if they will live there, they will live there with the conviction that it is able to spread all the so you would see some police group into various parts, standing at various points of the Pamukoma Second Century, the huge two parts that in here are controlling the public as well as taking on an hand of the processes uh, comes back to the transport. Again, the, and the team advanced towards the state to ensure that those uh, protesters at uh, that end of the uh, will be good. And very soon, to we'll take you back to that part. Uh, but this piece of glasses of uh, vehicle that we talked about earlier, the uh, S2 which was destroyed by some of the protesters. So, even though the police is just required whether or not anybody has just as a result of the uh, felting of the subject and the counter to it of uh, the firing of the gas, we are aware one of the of police has got a, a lot of
some engagements by my colleague Hansen Ajiman with some of the protesters who have clearly been sharing their dissatisfaction with regard to the intervention by the police to disperse them using the tear gas and hot water. We will be staying on this particular developing story and we'll speak to um, Nana Tufo Boateng who has more details for us. Han um, Tufo, if you can hear me, what can you tell us now? Well, Koku, that, that if I can say that team uh, is now somewhere around the Agudome roundabout. Uh, police are going after protesters uh, just to be sure to end, bring an end to the protest. Uh, and so they're still advancing towards them. Now, clearly, the number has reduced to just about a handful. Um, uh, it, it, it is not clear whether these persons are still under the direction of the leadership of the protesters, but they also remain adamant, although small in number, as compared to when they had gathered earlier at the runabout. But uh, police wants police to ensure... wants to ensure that the last man leaves the vicinity uh, to bring some uh, level of sanity uh, back to the area owing to the fact that uh, both police and leadership of the demonstrators were unable to come to a final agreement uh, with respect uh, to the routes uh, to be used uh, by the demonstrators. So Nana Tufo Boateng would want you to still stay on, but then I would want to do a recap of what has been happening so far for our listeners and our viewers. Um, so this has been a special coverage of the Kumayashi demonstration, which has been organized by the Arise Ghana group. Early on, we expected the protest to be embarked on at about 8 a.m. and to 4 p.m., as was um, stated by the court yesterday. However, that has not been the situation. We early on um, touched base with our correspondents or our people on the ground who have been telling us what has been transpiring. Uh, we know that um, a standoff was recorded early on between the protesters and the police officers over the route they are supposed to use for their demonstration. The protesters have outlined specific ru uh, routes they want to embark their demonstration on, but then the police has also been given other routes which they have said is the best um, route for them. We have also been telling you some of the persons who have been arrested following this particular um, situation that has been encountered there. So far, from what I have seen, not less than six people have been picked up by the police. We know that um, they are going to be screened um, if they fault. They will be dealt with according to the law. Currently, as we speak to you, the protesters have also been dispersed by the police. Um, we're yet to find out whether or not the protest will continue. But then we'll be bringing you um, some of the shots or videos that we have been playing to you early on for you to have uh, a pictorial view of what has happened or what has transpired so far. So this is the state Akufado has brought Ghana uh, to. The, book, the biggest, the biggest demonstration we ever had under the former republic is the Kumi Prakun demonstration. Who was leading the demonstration? Is it the sitting president? Today we are doing peaceful demonstration. We do, we are not holding any arm. We are, we are not holding anything. But look at what the police are doing. They intentionally wanted to kill people. So in this country, they are telling us that today oh, oh, we are not going to do any demonstration again. But what, what do you make of how uh, the police has dealt with protesters? I don't think it's the best. They are behaving unprofessionally. You understand? You see, in this country, eh, it has become clear that when a certain party, should I even say a party, when a certain tradition are in power, they loot our properties, they loot our lands. And for me, that is the reason I have joined this uh, uh, demonstration. In 1969, uh, apart from the economic hardship, 
1969, Akufu Addo Fada, Akufu Addo Fada was the president. Now, when they wanted, when they wanted to loot people's property and lands, they 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 they, they formed the policy of uh, aliens compliance order. They sacked the Lebanese, the Nigerians, and what the foreigners, and then they took over their properties and the lands. No wonder. Let, let's no talk wonder. about the current situation. No wonder. The current uh, house that Akufuado occupies now was bequeathed to him by his father, who inherited it from one of the foreigners. Well, let's talk about the now, current situation. Kufuor came and Kufuo continued. Uh, no, if, if, let's, let's, come to, let's come to the current situation okay, and let's deal with the issue that okay. has brought us right. here. I wanted, uh, Thomas, you, yeah. I wanted to give you I mean, a little the, the, history. The, the history is known, the history is known, it is recorded, okay, but let's so, talk about now yes. and the situations that have culminated in this demonstration and, of course, how the day has gone by so far. Yes, uh, looking at the economic action today, it is, it is worse off than before. No, right from the days of Nkrumah, we've been having, we've been getting hardship. But for this one, it is extraordinary. extraordinary. You understand? And aside that, like I told you, the looting and stealing of our lands, for me, that is my, how come that somebody's will today, somebody has been able to will Atchimota Forest to his, uh, uh, to his, uh, his uh, even season, some of us have to join the demonstration. Yes, so please, we are not demonstrating for demonstrating sake. We are demonstrating for the sake of Mother Ghana. Right, thank you. Yes. Let's do. Let's talk to you and find out. Who, I mean, you seem so angry. Talk to us. What's going on? I'm angry. I'm angry because our our nation is in economic crisis, and this is what we are supposed to do to bring the attention of government. If there is a need to even stop this demonstration. This is not the right way to go. Dispersing the crowd in this manner is a cake. It is a cake. And I'm disappointed in the police because the police were attacking us as if we are their fellow police people that are on the ground fighting another country or fighting praise. This is not right. And we must stand up as a people. Tomorrow we will reconverge here. We are going to fight. We are going to speak. We are going to pour everything that is on our hearts. This nation is in darkness, and that darkness must be brightened at all costs. We don't want any tyrannical rule over us. Our children are dying, excuse me, when we were coming. You could see the people who are on, they are doing their own businesses, trying to survive. They were closing down their shops. Why? Why? In this economic hardship, and people are closing down their shops because the police is shooting at us. We are demonstrators. We are not animals. Thank you very much. Um, one more, one more, yeah, and then yeah, we, yes, can, we, we can move out thank of you. here. It is a pleasure to speak to City FM. And I would like to make this point that Akufuado, President Akufuado, has prov proven beyond every reasonable doubt that he is not a Democrat. He's a tyrant, he's an oppressor, and he's a, and he's a suppressionist. He only chose the path of democracy because that was the only way he was going to come to power. And we are demonstrating today to rescue this country from the shackles and tentacles of tribalism, nepotism, cronyism, corruption, and the like. Look, never be before in the history of this country have we experienced what is going on. These are peaceful citizens going on a demonstration. What right have you? Do you have using live ammunition, water cannons, hot water cannons, and tear gas on us? For what? Look, Akufado demonstrated against every previous government. He's an unprincipled vagabond. You know where the leaders of this demonstration are? Where are the organizers? They are around us. They are within us. What are they telling you now that the police has well, this? The thing is that the abuse of the police, which I doubt are the real police, but I suspect they are Akuf Ado's vigilantes, have dispersed all of us. And you cannot find the leadership now because of the dispersion. But in a matter of minutes, we're going to converge and redirect the cause of this demonstration. This man has no rule. He, he, he has no right to be in charge of coming to Krumah's Ghana. No, this is impossible. Thank you very it's much. It's unbelievable. It's Thank unbelievable. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
So now Natufo Boatin has been engaging some of the protesters there who are not enthused by the approach um, by the Ghana Police Service to disperse them. Some of them have also been indicating that they will stand firm and also um, embark on their demonstration. Let's go to um, Hansen Ajiman who has details for us. Hansen. <laughs> Which are still moving in a straight line towards the place where it all started. But they are moving and uh, passerby of people who are watching them are putting at them. Some of them think that what they did uh, not the right thing to do. They think that the force was not uh, corresponding to the sort of attack, if I put it that way, that they got from the uh, protesters. But this really um, is a bit of a clarify of the job that has been done by the uh, They've been able to control the protesters at the moment. They've been able to open the entire interesting topic again, which has been a topic for close to uh, two hours. And now uh, they've been able to, at least from what we can see, to disperse all of the protesters. But it appears all is not done. Uh, just at the inner perimeters of the interchange, uh, they've, they've diverted and uh, moving towards the CCB building where they are going towards uh, the pavement. There uh, are suspicions that some of the protesters are there and they are hoping to stop them from this area as well. But so this is really a commitment by the police to ensure that at least they disperse any person that they suspect to be a protester uh, who has been here since uh, morning to protest the high cost of living because they were not in agreement to the route that they were using. But you can see a senior officer signaling them to repeat. Uh, there have been some form of arrest. Uh, so the police so, so there we can see um, a bit of arrest uh, by the, the police. Um, we are not aware what exactly this man has done, but the police officers are trying to arrest him. So it's currently been taken away. Um, we don't know what he's done, but he has a, a, a red cloth uh, tied to his hand. At least in, 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 in protest, as it's shown in Ghana, it's only a, 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 an indication that maybe he was part of the protest. But when we get to speak to the police hierarchy, we will get to have explanation on what exactly these people have been picked up for and what exactly they are going to do to them, whether they will be processed for court or whether they were only arrested as a strategy to ensure that the place um, is fair and all protesters are made to live here. Because when they were situated here, the police officers um, could not have allowed for vehicles to be redirected the route of several vehicles, uh, causing the entire interchange to be close to traffic. So this person that was just arrested is one of 
a number of other people who have been arrested as a result of um, the protest yesterday at the grass court. has arrested, uh, shot over there, uh, it looks like, and the other rider. Um, we are unaware what exactly uh, he also might have done. But currently, the entire place has to go into traffic. And this is the uh, advance thing that was sent to the Stokan. That was sent to the Stokan case to make sure that all the back to the other not that on how things really have been. But it's actually a lot of people who either know what has happened or are unaware of what has happened and they are situated here or positioned there at the um, Farm and Coma Interchange. It's happening. People are not aware of it. Some are passing. Some are not. But there should be from the Obras Court towards Akwe J. Karen has been taken over by police officers. Three hours in that was a story. The protesters were on one hand of the street and the police were also on the other hand of the street. But at this moment, the police have been able to defend all protesters. And currently, um, they have opened into traffic. The officers oh. went to defend all this other protectors uh, have back to be and are um, waiting to be addressed by Haraki. Try to see if there's any of the police uh, hierarchy or officers here. But there seems to be an address uh, there and to we'll touch uh, aspects of the address that is a part of the uh, the so Hansen, we know that you've been reporting um, of several arrests that have been affected by the police uh, following the standoff between the police and the protesters. Have you... We, we, okay, so we, we're seeing... Uh, an address being made right now. If we can get closer and listen. Hello. Hello. To try that. The police is not supposed to direct us out. But if the court has moved. I am saying that. I don't want to do I'm saying that there's a case. You only know that you've applied. As a court, I'm saying that there's a rule. And I'm saying that there's a rule. And I'm saying that there's a rule. But there's no exchange in it. When you apply, it's not a change in it. When you apply, it's not an injunction in it. I'm saying that there's no intent. I'm saying that there's no intent. I'm saying that there's no intent. What's the what alternative legal argument you're saying? I am saying that it's a misapplication of the court. Then what is it? We are saying that it's an application of the court. So then why are you seeking to protest if nothing happens? The court has been said you shouldn't protest. We have an understanding with them. Until the court moves on our case, it's not what we have agreed on the decision we have made. The police is only the decision to protect us. But isn't it logical if you say that this is law? But, but, even, if, but even if we are talking about law, even if we are talking about law, if the police cannot insist on the high court, then isn't it not appropriate that you also hold on to your plans on the court rules on the state? Uh -huh. What does it say? If you want to, if you want to, not try that. Uh -huh. Not if I want that. 
And the constitution <laughs> also allowed the police to go because when they have problems, <laughs> how you have to proceed. This whole issue about police. I am saying yeah. that the local statute about police and demonstration. Today, the ICP himself has told us. You see, there's one thing on paper, and then they have come to it. Is the, the best way to go to any step of this is Is that the logical thing? I am saying that. Apparently, the person is and so we've actually been seeing an engagement uh, between members of the press and George Law, who is a legal practitioner. And as you heard, Hansen was questioning why they want to use a different route um, as has been prescribed by the Ghana Police Service, which we understand is causing all these agitations there. And so we'll still be staying on this particular developing story uh, where we have our people on. But then I'll just run by you what has been happening so far. So this is a demonstration that has been tagged as Komayashi demonstration by Arise Ghana Group. It was expected to start at 8 a.m. Um, per the ruling by the court yesterday and to end at 4 p.m. However, uh, that did not happen. Now, the protesters wanted to use the Akwaje route contrary to what the court directed and what the police has also been rehashing there. The, this, so we, we, we know that because of this, the protest has um, stalled for the time being protesters also um, in trying to drum home their demands also pelted stones at the police where we read to you a tweet by the Ghana Police Service indicating that some of his men have been injured um, following the pelting of the stones and the police in return uh, fired tear gas to disperse the crowd. Um, police was still resolute and uh, as we, we, we saw in the turn of events, the police stood its ground and said that they were not going to allow the protesters to use um, the places that they have outlined. That is the route that they have outlined. So they mounted a human block, uh, a blockade um, around that particular stretch where the protesters wanted to use. Now, we, we've seen some members of parliament being a part of this demonstrations, um, some some George actually spoke to us early on. We've also seen the leadership of the NDC, that is the national chairman of the NDC, Samuel Ofosu Ampofo, uh, being a part of this particular protest. He actually um, gave an address and was outlining a plethora of reasons why it's important for him to be a part of this demonstration. I'll just run by you some of them. He made mention of the, the delay in the payment of the NSS allowances. He also touched on the depreciation of the Ghana city where he says that it needs to be attended to to help the country get back on its feet. He also refuted claims by some government officials that the state of the economy um, facing challenges and this is as a result of the invasion of Ukraine by Russia. He actually refuted that. He also um, hit hard on the continuous surge in fuel prices, where he says that it has also had a rippling effect on transport fares, which currently is um, seeing a surge now. Also, he, he actually um, entreated the people to be resolute and that... He says that they were still going to embark on the demonstration. Now, currently, th this is a shot of um, some media um, persons there who were affected by the tear gas that was um, fired by the police in, in, in the process of trying to um, disperse the agitating crowd. And so you can see some of the people, there's some media persons there. Also, some of the protesters um, also had to... 
uh, run for their lives because of what was happening there. Um, currently, as we speak to you, the people or the demonstrators have been dispersed. Uh, we are yet to establish contact with some of the organizers to actually speak to them on um, the way forward, what's going to happen, because ideally the protest is supposed to last for today and tomorrow. We're yet to find out if it is going to be uh, embarked on even today and hopefully tomorrow. So these are shots of some of the agitating um, protesters there who wanted to embark on the protest um, by using the routes that they outlined there. We've also been engaging some of the protesters after they were dispersed by the Ghana Police Service. Some of them have indicated that they will still stay resolute and that they will not um, back down on their demands for government to take a critical look at what they have described as the, the deteriorated state of the economy. Some of the placards clearly have been showing that um, um, what is happening in the country is something they would want to see uh, government intervene. Um, we've also brought to you a tweet from the Ghana Police Service. As I indicated early on, some of its members got injured in the process of actually um, safeguarding the protesters and also dispersing the protesters. And so as you can see on your screen, I'll just run by you again. It says that, what a shame, we were there to protect you and to ensure your safety, but you throw stones at us. Um, and some of us have been injured and hurt in the process. This behavior is unacceptable and must be condemned. Clearly tells you that the police is not happy or enthused about what is happening at the Kwame Koma Circle. These are uh, shots of some of the people who have sustained degrees of injuries. And I'm sure this is from the pelting of the stones there by some of the protesters. Some of them have been um, left um, with some injuries. So w one particular video or a picture we're seeing, we we we're seeing blood stains on the ears of one of the police officers. Uh, I'm sure that the stone might have hit his ear and that has caused him to sustain this degree of injury. And it, it is the same with another police officer. Um, and it clearly tells you that the police is not e excited about what has happened. But that has been the situation with regard to the uh, Komaeshi demonstration so far. The demonstration that was uh, were expecting to have the protesters walk through or march through the principal streets of Accra to um, send a petition to the presidency it has not been done yet. Um, from the court ruling, the demonstration is supposed to end at 4 p.m. As we speak to you now, it's 54 minutes past 4. It clearly tells you that um, there may have been some uh, flouting of what the court had already indicated. But then uh, we had to find out from the organizers what they will be doing now. Either they are going to back down on their demonstration or go ahead. Currently, you're seeing in your short some um, effect of the pelting of the stones by the protesters. So the windscreen of um, this particular vehicle, which is for the Ghana Police Service, has been affected. And we saw early on when the pelting of the stones um, was being done by the protesters, the officers in this particular vehicle had to leave the, um, the vehicle and find some shelter. So far, we've not been able to establish contact with the organizers. We're yet to actually find out whether or not they are still around and what they are telling their people to do. So uh, this whole protest, which was expected to be a peaceful one, has been quite chaotic. It's been marred um, with, with w some incidents of uh, violence there by, from the protesters and also the, the advancement of the police to stop these protesters from embarking on the protest um, w with regard to the route they wanted to use. So um, it, it, it's not been smooth so far. We're still going to be on this particular developing story. We'll find out whether or not the protest will end or it will still be embarked on by the, the, these agitating people. I, I see a lot of people who went there in red and in black.
and this is to signify and to drum home their demands. Um, I'll read some of um, the placards I'm seeing, the inscriptions there, some of them are clearly telling government that they want to be done by government to salvage the deteriorating state of the economy. This is what they have been rehashing over the period and they say that this particular demonstration is supposed to get to government and the petition is supposed to get to government and also hopefully they will have uh, better results coming from government in subsequent days. And so th this has been a special uh, coverage of the demonstration by the Arise Ghana um, group who I, I would say that a number of people I saw there are more than 100 people. Um, it tells you the involvement of a lot of people in this particular demonstration. One of the placards says, we say no to police unprofessionalism. The other one says, the stop abusing us. You are not Ghanaian than us. This is to drum home dear demands. Uh, there, there are other placards that um, has also, or have been um, signaling um, their, their, their concerns over the period. And so they have been calling on government to help them intervene and salvage the situation. So we're, we're still on the grounds. We're live on the grounds there. Um, Nana Tufo Boateng and Hansen Ajiman have been reporting from the scene and we are going to be bringing you more updates with regard to the situation, whether it's going to come to an end now or we're going to still see the protesters converge again and head to the presidency to be able to submit their petition that they say they have outlined already. Sure, so we will be bringing you um, some reactions on social media. We know that currently Arise Ghana is trending on Twitter. We'll be bringing you some of your views there. And if you're yet to actually share your views, you can actually go on social media, get to um, City FM and City TV, and then you run by us your messages where we will be reading for you. So just go on there and then let us know what you think about this particular demonstration. And so I'll be running by you some of the comments that uh, is actually coming up um, on social media, particularly on Twitter, where um, this particular situation is trending. Um, so I'll, I'll be reading some to you. This one is coming in from Kwame Baden on um, Twitter. He says that since, since when did the courts or the police start prescribing or prescribing routes for demonstrators. It's today that the first time a demonstration is being held in Ghana. There's a question that is coming in from Kwame Baden. So he is um, not also enthused about what is happening with regard to the change in the routes for some of the, um, for the protesters. This is also coming in from General Ahmed on Twitter. He says that there was a coup in Gambia, not a drop of blood was spilled. There was a coup in Mali, not a single soul was killed. Same thing happened in Burkina Faso, but in Ghana, ordinary demonstration get people killed by police and nothing happens. Uh, so he is also not happy about what is happening there. You can go on our social media handles and then we'll read it out to you. This is also coming in. It says that um, this is coming in from Kweku. Um, on Twitter, he says that the unruly demonstrators will, will not talk about this good job, Ghana police. So he um, is happy that the Ghana police service has been able to disperse the protesters who were agitating early on. Um, also on Twitter, Rex Agezo says that, so you think it's reasonable for the Ghana police service to use tear gas um, to disperse the demonstrators? So he clearly is not also in support of the use of the tear gas. And so we'll be reading more for you. Some people are also um, showing some pictures of what is happening there and what is transpiring there. People are also posting videos and we, we, we're seeing a lot coming in from um, our viewers there. We will be reading a lot for you. So these are some of the uh, reactions that's actually coming in on social media. 
and be sure to actually go there, get your messages to us, and, and we will read it for you. So uh, this is also coming in from you know Ghana. It says that you see the current Ghana Police Service Administration is focused on propaganda, branding, and PR. Strangely, the others in the picture seem to be oblivious to whatever danger was present or maybe there was no danger. So he posted uh, with a picture um, where a, a pupil has been carried by the Ghana Police Service um, to safety. And I'm sure this is the time that the protesters were pelting stones at the Ghana Police Service. Also, another one says that, um, let this be on record, um, that this situation should never happen again. So this gentleman is also not happy about the situation. So these are all reactions coming in um, on social media, particularly on Twitter, where, as I indicated early on, that it is trended number one. And so um, these are issues that people have been raising questions about. The mode uh, that has been employed by the Ghana Police Service to, to disperse these people. Now on Twitter again, uh, so we, we have been asking you to share with us our comments. This one from Bright Neymar says, um, the police uh, were told to ensure protection and safety of the protesters cause, uh, because the protesters are agitating for the betterment of us all. Regardless, um, the police have, have to direct the protesters. Um, he says that um, Arise Ghana youth um, no be fight. So clearly tells you that he's also not enthused by what is happening there. This one from the powder guy, he says that the Ghana police service has fired tear gas into the Arise Ghana protesters. This happened under the Adabraka overpass. Um, so I'm sure he was around that area when he, he, he saw the action by the Ghana police service by using the tear gas to disperse the agitating uh, protesters there. Another one from 2.30 says that Ghana police shot live bullets at the Arise Ghana protesters. This we cannot solely confirm to you, but this is what is coming in on social media from 2.30. Now, another one from Kojo Dynamics says that you started shooting Arise Ghana demonstrators, throwing um, tear gas and spraying hot water. Now your water is finished, sea stone. So he, um, she, she, um, he, he, he's actually referring to uh, the advancement by the Ghana Police Service to use the tear gas on the protesters there. And also the pelting of stones um, in return by the protesters who had gathered to embark on their demonstration to drum home their demands there. Um, I'll try and get more reactions on social media for you. But if you're yet to send us um, your view on social media you can hit us up on um, twitter and on other social media handles at citynewsroom.com at citynewsroom um, that's the handle there and then we'll be ready to read it to you so some videos and pictures of the scenes at the Kwame Koma circle um, are actually um, circulating on social media the pelting of the stones and other um, incidences that are are happening currently there. So this has been a special coverage of the Komaeshi demonstration, which has been organized by the Arise Ghana um, group. We know that the protest has been marred um, with several um, incidences there, some violent incidents and some chaos there. We will be staying on this particular developing story but be sure to get more updates on the city newsroom at 8 p.m and on eyewitness news at 5 30 on 97.3 city fm my name is kweku ediama as i we're grateful for joining us this is city tv we interrupt this program for some breaking news